Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Uh, my name is Combat. I go by Combat New York. I'm a professional competitive NRS player, and I've been in FGC for about two years now. Um, got my start late in Justice, and started my well, started playing officially competitively in MK11. But just excited for what's coming next, and yeah, pretty much it. Uh, I'm here to do a guide about Nightwolf and how to fight against him. I'd say his playstyle is a very neutral oriented um, type of playstyle where he tries to just space you out and annoy you really because he doesn't have the best way of opening people up. So he just really tries to annoy you with pokes and tries to open you up off of your mistakes. Uh, I'm going to show you tips on how to fight him, tips on how to deal with him, ranges to play. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy the guide. Once again, thank you to Dash Fight for inviting me to do this. Appreciate them as always. Uh, check out their website for all things FGC related. Hope you guys enjoy and stay safe. Alright guys, so I highlighted most of the moves for y'all that Nightwolf uh, will use, mainly, honestly. Um, there are some I left out because there wasn't enough slots, but I will get to that. Now, like I said, Nightwolf is mainly, I'd say, a neutral based character. His walk speed's pretty decent, his wave dash is pretty decent as well. It's a, his wave dash is actually really good. Um, and yeah, his, his buns are really good, like down three. It's a really good poke. It's honestly his main poke. You'll see Nightwolf use this a lot because it it's a great way to get in, get some you know frames to touch your pressure. If it hits, if it if they block it, you're safe with pushback. Down four is also a really good poke. Minus five. His down one is also really good. Seven minus six. Um, basically, yeah, like his movement combined with his buttons are like really good. Oh, or spokes. Um, now. His main strings, I will say this is his auto shimmy, it's 1-1-1, one, one, one. it's minus 6, no flaws ball gap, so you know, if, if they try to tech, you'll be able to shimmy them, um, you know, basically, yeah, so, if they try to tech, you'll basically be able to shimmy, you could do 1-1-2, one, one, which is another option if they're respecting the shimmy, this is plus 1, but it does have a flaws ball gap, but it's a good mind game to throw off of this string, you know, if they're respecting that. And you can just throw that out. But uh yeah, this is this is honestly his bread and butter. Board one two. This is also this is his main mid string, I'd say. Board one is a 13 frame mid, has pretty good range. It confirmable, so if you know, if uh they're blocked this, you're safe, minus seven. If the hits you just hit confirm it into your launcher. So pretty good string. It does have an ender, which is unsafe. Um that I hold up. How do you do it? Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, it's forward one two one two. Uh, I think, yeah, forward one two one two. Um, but it is unsafe. I guess you could use it as like a chip out maybe, but I don't really recommend using that string. So yeah, this is the main hit confirmable mid. This is the main shimmy slash stagger. Uh, this string is his bread and butter really. It's an overhead. It is 24 frames, so it is re reactable. Um, and but he could cancel it safely. So forward one. Or two one four gives you this. It's minus six, but if you hit confirm it, and you can you know hit confirm in the launcher. But if you don't see them get hit, then you just do the safe option, or you can mix it up and try to get mix like that, which you know can be OS. But you know there's always that option, which is a four uh, forward two one uh, two one string that is uh, highlighted. Uh, three one two. This is a high mid overhead. What this is, actually no, it's a high high, wow, that's high high, I didn't even know that, but it's a high high overhead, what it is, the last hit has a KB, so if you look in the KB requirement, if they only get hit by the overhead, like that, it is, uh, it's a KB, so if they're blocking this, then they get hit by the overhead, and KB, it's safe on block as well, it's a really good stagger, you can do that, minus three, and then, you know, poke. Uh, stand threes plus. You can use that maybe. Um, it's a really good stagger. Basically, you want to use the power of this crush and blow to, you know, optimize the stagger. Uh, back three four. I'd say this is the main reversal mid. So if someone's minus, you just reversal with this. It's Eleven frames, pretty good. Doesn't have the best range, but it is a confirmable and it is. It does have a safe ender. 
uh, that's unsafe, so you just want to end it with this. But you know, if they get hit, you just want to hit confirm into your launcher. Like that. Same with the mid. Same with the overhead. Like I said, if they block it, you just, you know. Um, <clears throat> what else? Um, Horizon Tomahawk, I think, uh, you know, he does have different variations. I think this is, whatever variation you're using, I think you have to use this one. Because it gives him a launcher, basically. And it gives him access to launch you off any button. So, if he does his 1-1-1 string, launches his 4 2 one, launches... Uh, I'm not forward one two sorry and then forward to one launches uh, back three four launches so you know it, it gives you basic access to any launcher um so I definitely think you should equip Ryzen Tomahawk which is you know a variation move um and then last but not least I think is it like I showed you in the beginning his pokes are really good basically how you play neutral is just you want to move and you know you want to use the bow I didn't highlight it but this is his back forward one it's a base special move, unless you replace it with another move, but I don't think you should. It's pretty good. Um, it gives him a decent zone. He can cancel it uh, just to, you know, get make people out or throw them off. It's good for chip out. It's just a good, you know, projectile in general. He has a reflect, as you guys know, Nightwolf. If somebody throws a projectile at you, he just could just reflect it back, which is, you know, a really good move. It does have, you do have to be kind of preemptive with it, or to react, but it is there, so you can't, you gotta be cautious when throwing projectiles at him. But yeah, that's basically Nightwolf, I'd say, I'd say his, his whole game plan is really just to move like this, just annoy you and then catch you off guard with a hit if you're like, looking for a grab. And this is another strength of it, he has two KB grabs, which means if he grabs you backwards, you can do a crushing blow, if he grabs you forward, can also do a crush and blow and you know obviously if you tech wrong then you just have to guess the next throw which is a really strong thing in this game so him having access to it that's where when he does this and then if you're looking for a throw he can jail you into a stand one and that's where his whole game plan comes in um but yeah in terms of his play style like i said you just you know use these buttons uh play that and then whenever they get near play your grab game he's literally just a strike throw character that's like his whole thing um his overhead is reactable like i said you can hit confirm it so you can use it as a shimmy um this is an auto shimmy but it can be a west but you know if you're throwing somebody off guard it, it, it's perfect right, this is basically his main combo i don't think this is optimal because i'm not uh you know i'm not sure what the optimal is but even just like a basic combo you get 29 off his overhead if you confirm it he gets tw uh, 28 and then off his mid he gets 26 into oki so his his is like his combos leave him at such a good range he can always do a dash up grab or a dash up shimmy basically if they're trying to tech here you know you can, that's where you this button opens up as a shimmy not really a mix because you know it's reactable but it's good as a shimmy um but yeah that's the basic game plan he just wants you to abuse you with pokes and then make you guess on grabs and just really just eat away at your life slowly and that's what makes him annoying now there is variations as you see in this variation i have a command grab equipped which i think is his best variation launcher and command grab you know a command grab is basically it's just a command grab you just you know you know how command grabs are you just gotta guess so basically so if he dash, dashes up command grab, it's a, it is a high, so he could duck it. But uh, he does he could tick off some things like this ticks. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there you go. He can do. Uh, I think he could do stand one tick. Wait, hold up. <laughs> I think that works. Yeah, that works. And then he can do. Is there is a tick he has off of this, but it's not really real. I don't think so. That's a tick. But, um... Worse you're taking, really, is... I think you can OS it, but I'm not sure. And then, you know, you can just punish that. Like that. But worse you're taking is the overhead ender, which... Is unsafe on block, so it's basically a risk for the Nightwolf either way. That's why Nightwolves don't really use this string unless they want to try to gimmick you out. Like I said, if, if you land this KB... 
you just, you know, you just continue your combo. But it's mainly uses a stagger. Um, also, his jump ins are really good. I'd say his jump two is a really good jump in. Jump three is pretty good. Jump two is like just the hitbox of it is really good. Um, his anti-airs are decent, I'd say. His falls blocks aren't the best. But, you know, a stand one is a decent anti-air. His down two is decent as well. Um, but, like I said, all around he's just a footsie based character. He's just there to annoy you, really. Just take away at your life slowly. I will show you the two different variations now. And, uh, my, my recommendations on which one is better and which one will be played in certain matchups and then i will get to how to counter nightwolf for you guys there is a move i didn't show he does have his shoulder which is a really good 12 frame and it reaches pretty far so this is really good for punishing stuff like you know Cetrion's projectile stuff like that so anything that's like minus 15 14 would push back he can punish it reliably which is a very good strength of a character which I, that's honestly one of the main points that I forgot to emphasize, so uh, that's why I wanted to put it later in the video just to remind you guys. Careful when you're throwing projectiles against him, we're doing like something that's minus 13, 14 with pushback because he will be able to reversal uh, shoulder. Obviously, it's punishable if you block it. And he could meter burn it, but if he meter burns it, you can still OS it with a 1 1 punish because it'll beat out punish. But you know, if you if you react late, you could get hit by this. That's so why, and that hit is a crushing blow if you react late. So I, you either just want to block this really, or you just want to punish it. But that is something I forgot to mention. So my apology for that. But uh, just watch out when you're throwing projectiles, because Nightwolves will throw that out as well to get in. Um, it's basically like a fly kick, you know, when people do fly kicks because they have to get in because they're getting zoned. So watch, watch out. It's like one of those moves that. You just have to watch out for and you can punish on reaction so hope this taught you something and let's get to the variations all right guys here we are at the variation screen um here i have three variations listed for you and uh like i said the one i just showed that uh launcher into and with the command grab i think this should be your main one because launcher allows you to combo off any string and any touch basically which is very strong because you know nightwolf needs his damage whenever he does get a chance to open you up and the command grab is there as a way to open you up you know because it's a command grab and nightwolf i think his biggest problem is he does struggle to open people up because at the end of the day if you're in a corner you just react to his auto shimmy os it react to his overhead and the really only thing that he can hit you with is like a back throw if you're just teching forward you know what i mean and then that's where command grab comes into play where it throws them off and it makes them have to be more cautious um and it's another way to open people up so I think this should be your main variation, and like I said, it's, a, it's all matchup dependent with Nightwolf, but I don't think this one is the main one. Now this one is actually an interesting one, it still has a launcher, but this move, Hannah's Wrath with the bird, when he throws his bird at you, it's actually unblockable. So even if you're blocking, or you know, if you get hit with it, it's, it's the same thing really. Um, what it does do is it doesn't allow you to use your bar for around five seconds which is actually really powerful i think i think this is one of the strongest special moves in the game um it doesn't you can't use a fatal blow when you're hit by this like i said it's unblockable so even if you're blocking you're gonna get hit by the you're gonna get hit by it uh you can't do a fatal blow you can't wake up you basically you can't use any bar like you can't use any of your meters so you can't wake up your wake up options are gone uh breakaway is gone you can't use breakaway for that span until it cools off of you um, now the way to counter this is when he throws the bird at you, obviously you can jump it or you can, if you flaws block the bird, then, uh, the effect of not using your bar won't happen. So, you know, it just turns into a normal projectile where you can still use your bar and everything. But if you don't flaws block the bird on block, then that's what happens where your moves are all, uh, you can't amplify, you can't use fatal blow, nothing. That's why I think this move is very powerful mixed with the launcher. Cause let's say I hit you with the bird and then I hit you with a combo you can't break out of my combo it just negates it so this move is very strong now the third variation i think this one is decent because it has you know the launcher as well and it gives you lightning arrow or replaces the uh the bow i showed you guys and basically it makes it more powerful so whenever you shoot someone it gives you a knockdown can't amplify it but it's just a single shot projectile that's a mid instead 
and you can cancel it still and it gives you a hard knockdown it, the projectile turn is very strong but you know this is where you look at it do you want the projectile or do you want like the other stuff and that's where i get that's where i say it's matchup dependent really but these are the three main variations and i definitely think it's all matchup dependent and i think this is the main one you want to use and now let's get to the variations all right guys we're back at the variation screen or the you know the game um now this is where i'm going to go over the variations and all their strengths and how to play against them um so like i said nightwolf his first variation is the launcher slash command grab and basically his whole game plan like i said is to poke you i showed this briefly so it's just poke you and then when he gets an opening he launches and then you know he gets his combo and then when you're in the corner this is where like you know he just plays his game and tries to make you either try to jump out get impatient hit you but um really what this does is his whole game plan is osable to be honest that's where the command grab comes in but the good thing about the command grab getting hit by it it is a corner uh switch every time so if you're in a corner and you get hit by command grab you know he does put himself in a corner he does get okie so he can like jump out like that which is what's strong about it but there is still like the thing of him putting himself in the corner um it does do a decent amount of damage no non-meter burned it does uh 12 meter burn does 15 so decent amount of damage basically a normal grab it is an armor breaker this is his arm breaker so if i do jump three and then somebody breaks it is his arm breaker so he can do you know he gets 24 25 with bleed damage so it is a good arm breaker and this is used for really instances where uh because you know his launcher you could break out every time so if i like if I get hit by him, that's the thing about Nightwolf, he doesn't have guaranteed damage really. So if I get hit, you know, 17% or whatever, but I can break. But let's say my break comes after that, that's where he gets to do stuff like, you know, like he does the arm breaker on a right time where he guesses you're gonna break. And then if you do break, you know, that's where it's an arm breaker and then he could KB it as well if you want to. So it's 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 a good arm break. It also gives him guaranteed damage off like his down to KB. So if I break right here, guaranteed damage. Um so not only is it a command grab, it is his arm breaker. Um but to be honest, it's just risk reward when you're playing against this. Because if you you know do that, you're gonna take 35 with bleed damage. But then if you don't break, you know he might be able to do like which is way worse you know what i mean so it's just a way, uh, matter of uh risk reward really and to play against his pressure really i will show you guys um but nightwolf you can react to his grabs really so when nightwolf is doing stuff like that this is where you got a lab because if he grabs you you can tech you don't get really root. You don't really get auto shimmied by him because his auto shimmy is too slow. As long as you're all westing it, as you can see me teching and then uh, blocking. So you know, and then his overhead does come into handy. This is where this could be used as a shimmy. So if you try to tech, you know, it's like if I try to tech a grab right here, that's what happens. So that's why against him, it's better to react really. Then OS, because if you're OS, you're gonna get caught like that. So, reacting to the grab and overhead is what you really wanna do. Characters with overheads like this do have strong, um, they have strong grab games because you're scared of getting hit by the overhead, even if it's slow. See, like that. So, basically, if I try to tech, that's why, like, against him, you can really just block overhead, but then that's where he abuses you with blows like this if you just wanna block overhead. But, you know, that's where. It's like a 2% poke, or you can just block his overhead and tuck his grab. You don't have to react or anything other than really the grab. Then, that's that's what I mean, like his shimmy is fake, but you'll get killed by it occasionally because you're so focused on all the other options. Yeah, so, um, that's basically how you play against him really. His auto shimmy isn't real, his overhead is slow, and you can react to his grab. 
you know, his poke game is what makes it strong. He's basically like Johnny and MKX, if you guys remember, he just wants to poke you to death. Which, you know, a poke is 1%, but it could get pretty annoying if, if you're constantly getting poked. That's why, you know, once you have your turn, if you block a poke, you can take your turn uh, type of stuff. So that's why you just want to play patient against Nightwolf. Don't panic, because once you panic, then he'll start doing like stuff like this. And then he'll, you know, he'll hit you easily. So you just want to play very patient against him, wait for your turn, I'd say, until he's minus on block. If he does like this, he's minus. Watch out, you know, the flaws block, but that's where you delay your mid. Um, if he does this, he's unsafe. Well, he's not unsafe, he's safe, but it's your turn. If he does this and you block it, it's your turn. If he grabs and you tech it, that's where you play from there, you know what I mean? Um, I would say try to avoid tech and throws against Nightwolf because he does have two throw KBs, which is dangerous. Duck OS is a really good option against a character like Nightwolf. So, you know, if you know how to Duck OS, that's definitely helpful. If you guys want to know how to do it, it's you just block, and then once they dash up, you let go of block for a second, then you block again. Which, what will happen is it'll OS, um, it'll OS the shimmy, and it'll OS the grab. So, and if I have just played these two options, OS is the grab, and then the shimmy won't hit me in time. And that's basically Nightwolf's weakness, and then whenever they do love it, you just stand up on a reaction. He, he suffers like a, <laughs> a sad trait against Duck OS, like a lot of characters, but yeah. You just block, and then once you see them dash up, or you see them press anything at all, you just let go and then block again. And you won't get shimmied since his shimmy is too slow. And this is where you can tell if all the shimmies are fake, if like Tech OSing and uh, Duck OSing works against it. Um, but yeah, that's his main variation, I'd say, with the command grab. Like I said, it's there to throw you off, really, but it's not the strongest command grab in the world, so it's not, you know, like Kodal's where you gotta really fear for your life, but if you get looped, it could get scary just because it's a command grab. Uh, this is the move I was telling you guys about. As you see, uh, the sables amplify, so if I, if I send Nightwolf to do it on me, as you guys can see, I can't use my bar. And I don't have Fatal Blow either. Right here. I can't use it. Now, that's why like this move is unblockable. Basically, you can't block it. The effect will happen regardless. That's why I'm saying you can jump it. But if you falls block it. Which is, you know. Then you can use your bar. Then the effect doesn't happen. So every time he throws this bird, you either want to try to jump it. Or you want to falls block it. So effect doesn't happen. Basically like that, because when when that does hit you, it's very strong. Because if he hits you with a launcher, now let's say Nightwolf hits me with this, um, put myself off block. Let's say he hits me with that, right? Now I get hit. I cannot use my breakaway at all. That's what's strong about it, and I also can't wake up. So if I show you like. can't wake up but if I try to roll that won't work either AC you can't use any of your bar so you can't wake up can't wake up fatal blow that's why when you get hit by this it's it's very strong that's why you want to try to flaws block it or jump it that's a very strong move um but it does remove his command grab so like I said you can go back to playing good defense against him don't have to worry about a command grab and just flaws block that whenever you can because they'll try to sneak it into strings which you could flaws block every time so if he tries to do like it is hard to react though, I won't lie, So if you, because like, if he does this, or if he does like, that, that's where it gets hard to react, you know, but like, I think you can kind of react to it if you see him do a bird animation, maybe you can, oh yeah, yeah, you can react to it, but yeah, if he tries to, but like, he can sneak it off of like, stuff like that, which is like, you know, that's where it gets good, but that's where it gets uh, scary. But that's basically what it does, I'd say. That's why the move is very strong. Um, but yeah, basically if he has to use that move, he gives up a command grab. So uh, defending against him is a bit easier. And yeah, that's really it that for that variation. Now the third one is the zoning one I showed you. This one is mainly for zoning, I'd say. This is if you want to play a more keep away. So if you're playing against a character where you don't want to interact really. Uh, this projectile turns to a mid. 
Oh, you can cancel it. You can still with his movement. And, you know, if they try to jump it, you can just hold it. You can hold it. Like, the, the good thing about it is you can literally hold it this long. So if they jump, you know, she, like, if Robocop jumps here. And it knocks down on hit every time. So, uh, you know, if I get hit by it, I'm going to knock down. Does a pretty good amount of damage, 9% every time. Um, but yeah, this is basically a zoning play style type of thing. That's why I don't recommend this move at all. Like, not not at all. I just recommend it in some matchups. You know, you can add combos with a hard knockdown like that. Get good Oki. Um, but this is mainly for keep away, I think. But like, when you look at this move over the bird or the man grab, I don't think it's worth it to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's basically all his three variations. Let me go back to the first one. But that's basically Nightwolf, I'd say. His, he, he's really just a neutral based character. And he tries to annoy you with his pokes. Because like I said, most of his most of his way to open you up is like false. Like overhead you can react to the shimmy's fake. You can react to the grab. Or you can just duck OS every option. You don't really have to do that. But then that's where command grab comes in. You know what I mean? Or to like delay mid. um, Or delay overhead. So his his I'd say his struggles are not being able to open you up reliably. Um, but his strengths are definitely movement, space control, like that. And he's just a solid neutral character, I'd say. I'd say the reason he's not as good is because he can't open you up as easily as other characters. And his bonds are decent, but they're not, you know, amazingly well great. So that's why. You know, for being a neutral base character, you'd want really good buns. That's why his buns are decent, so it's not terrible. But um, I'd basically say that's it for his variations. And now, I guess, I guess that's really it. That's really how you play against Nightwolf. That those are his variations, and playing against him isn't as complicated as other characters because of you know his lack of way of opening you up like Luke Kang he can do back one command grab mix you um Garish has throw loops Nightwolf does have throw loops that is one thing you gotta watch out for he could just do this constantly throw loop you his back throw doesn't have Volky so that's why you honestly want to take back throw like every time on well, the corner you want to take you know forward throw so you get out the corner but um I mean no no what I meant to say is you want to you basically want to take back throw every time um, against him, unless you're in the corner. So, yeah. Because, you know, this gives him Moki, and if he does back throw, it doesn't. So if he does back throw, it puts you all the way here. So, you basically want to attack forward throw every single time. Wait, I think I messed this up. <laughs> no, no, you want to take, take forward throw in general every time. His forward throw gives him Moki, so you want to take, uh, take forward. I'm messing it up. So, he would... The only way he can open you up really is back throw, which doesn't give him Oki. Same thing in the corner, you want to take forward throw, so he doesn't get Oki. And, you know, if he has to grab you backwards, he grabs you, you're out the corner, and he doesn't get Oki. So I definitely recommend taking forward throw against him most of the times. But, you know, that's where when he gets throw KB, he can, like, mix it up. He might do this, but the sacrifice is worth it because he now he has a KB loaded, which if he does it again, you know, then that happens. And that's where the throw KB. So honestly, getting rid of this throw KB early on isn't a bad idea. Just make sure it doesn't cost you like the game. That's why you got to be smart about you know letting your opponent hit you with stuff, which is a thing. Um, yeah, that's basically his play style. So he's just a movement character slash neutral. He tries to annoy you with these pokes, try to open you up anytime he can. If you get frustrated, so just have composure against him. Take your turns when you have to. Like I said, tech forward throw every time. Um, and then when he gets to throw KB, that's just something you have to deal with. You know what I mean? Um, that's just basically every character. That's basically his play style. Just play patient against him. Take your turns. And that's really it. Those are his variations. You know, he's that's why he's not really the best character in this game. I'd say he's a decent mid-tier. I wouldn't say he's top tier or anything. Um, but yeah, that's basically his play style. I hope I helped you guys out with some of, you know, how to play against him in some way. And now I'm going to show you what matchups I think do well against him. Now, in terms of the matchups, I think Cetrion is one of his worst matchups, really. Because I've seen it. It looks like it's playable. But I think characters who can keep him out, like, reliably, 
that's who he struggles out. Uh, that's who he struggles against because characters who space control basically he his playstyle is space control, right? So play uh, characters who have better space control than him and have better bonds in neutral typically will do better against me personally in this matchup. I play Johnny Cage because Johnny and Nightwolf that matchup is really just neutral and Johnny has good buttons so I'm comfortable playing against a Nightwolf with Johnny because you know it's just neutral and you just gotta space out your buttons and Johnny has good buttons which is a 5-5 matchup I wouldn't say it's a winning one but you know characters like this that can like Noob for example I think does really well against him um I don't think I think Garrus does decent against him too because he could just zone with Sandtrap and Cetron does good I think characters who have a more of a keep away playstyle can uh, do good against them. Really, that's who you want to aim for. Uh, whichever character you play, like characters, even characters who have to play up close, like uh, you know, if you're playing Kodo, Kano, can also play with him because he's a neutral character, like I said. So if you have to play up close with him, you can. He doesn't have, you know, he struggles opening people up. But like when you have space control and you can keep him out, and he does, he can't really open you up for free. That's where it gets harder for the Night Wolf player, and that's where his um you know that's where his lack of strength really comes from so yeah i'd recommend definitely playing not set you obviously i don't like playing her but I'd definitely recommend playing a character that can keep him out and contest with him in neutral and just watch out for all the things i uh you know i hopefully demonstrated well uh time your buns correctly take your turns and just play patient against him don't let him fluster you and i think that's i think that's pretty much how you play against nightwolf you just got to be patient Take your turns and you know just play patient against them pretty much and you know it should result in more wins because you just got to play patient against this character really his whole job is just to fluster you because he can't really open you up so just play patient really i'd say um but i hope i did help you guys out with that and now my final thoughts all right guys here we are back at the menu uh just to recap everything um like I said, Nightwolf is a neutral based character. You just want to play patient against him. Take your turns. Don't let him flush to you. Um, I think space control characters who do it better than him do the best against him. So if you're looking at this cast, I think Shang does pretty good. I think Cassie does really well against him actually. Um, I think Johnny does decent. I'd say Spawn probably does well against him. Uh, Noob probably does well. Raiden probably does well too. Jade probably does well against him. Um, basically all space control characters, I'd say, say Luke can contest with him, I think that's 5-5, five, five. just fireball game, just his buttons, uh, Kodo can contest with him, Robocop probably does good against him too, you know, characters you can just keep him out, Tetrion, Bujin, Rain, all those characters I think can do a decent job, even like Sindel I think is very annoying for Nightwolf, based on what I've seen. But yeah, basic characters you can just keep him out, play patient against him, um, uh, take your turn, and really like he doesn't have any you know he does have a command grab but like i said it's not as powerful as other command grabs so he doesn't have any real annoying ways to open you up that's why like patience is really important against him because if you get annoyed from all the pokes or all the <laughs> weird jumpings and that's where you'll definitely be opened up by him more just because you know you're flustered playing against him but um i hope this guy taught you guys something if uh if you want to watch some Night Wolf players i'd recommend king ambler uh, he's probably the best Nightwolf I've seen, uh, free. Like, I haven't seen other, other uh, any other Nightwolves than him, really. So definitely watch him if you want to watch high-level uh, Nightwolf gameplay. And that's really it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the guide. Hope I taught you something. Uh, as always, if you would like to follow me, it's at, at Combat New York on Twitch and Twitter. I appreciate the support. Hope I helped you guys out with the matchup. Um, and once again, thank you so much to Dash White for inviting me to do this. Uh, check them out. Check out their website for anything FGC related. And show them love, guys. And appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all stay safe. Much love, y'all. Peace.